Thanks for staying with us on Across Louisiana, Acadiana Style, brought to you by Mella Joy, the original Cajun coffee. I've been doing this about four or five years, and I'm now going to introduce a club with the longest name that we've had on the show, the Joseph Henry Tyler Jr. Chapter of the American, of the National, of the National Medical Association. Yes. Dr. Ernest Kinchin Jr. is here. Hi, welcome. Thank you for having us. Okay, a little bit about the association. I know you're here to promote an event, but just a little bit about what you guys do. Well, we have been trying to enrich our community. We've been trying to make sure that the future generations will have an opportunity to express themselves in terms of development, in terms of their opportunities for growth, in terms of their opportunities for education. And therefore, we began a scholarship fund that was designed around a Living Legends program. So just as we promote as physicians, you are what you eat, we promote as well, you are what you see. Gotcha. So we have brought in people such as uh, Dr. David Satcher, who was the, sec the Surgeon General. We brought in Keith Black, who was on the cover of Time Magazine. We brought in Louis Sullivan, who was Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare. We brought in William Bernard, who was the first African-American astronaut to walk in space. Now this year we're bringing in another astronaut in terms of Dr. Bobby Satcher. So we give these young people the greatest possible heights to aspire to. When you're talking about walking in space, there can be no greater heights than that kind of inspiration. And they are awestruck. He will be in his astronaut uniform. Wow. And they will have something to really amaze themselves by and to aspire to become. So tell us a little bit about it. Is it a two-parter? Do you work with the students and then you have a reception for the adults? How yes, does this it is. Work? On uh, October the 31st, on that Friday morning, we will gather all of our students in the area. We'll bring them in by bus and have them at the Hyman Center of the Performing Arts. When we had Dr. Bernard Harris here, 2,000 students wow. had the opportunity to see a live astronaut. We hope to top that number this year. We're going to fill the place because we feel it's that important for our young people to be able to connect with and to understand what it means to strive for excellence and where you can end up, where you can go, how you can soar if you apply yourselves. And we believe all of them are in, uh, have some e evidence and elements of genius. They just have to be able to have someone help them to let it loose. That, that is awesome. And then uh, that evening you're having a... We're having a banquet. And that evening we wish to have the entire community come to that event because it's the means by which we raise scholarship funds for the students that we try to preach to that morning. We don't just preach to them and abandon them. Right. We give them some fuel by which to reach the next level. So we give them scholarship funds to be able to attend college, some of whom would never have been, have been able to have that opportunity without our support. Your contact info, how can people get a hold of you to get involved in this? They can contact me on my cell. I'm right, right there for them. If they have books, we want to give those books to the children. We want to enrich yeah. this community. We want the world to be a better place. And we know if we enrich their lives and make them better people, help them to be dedicated to excellence, to opportunity, to education, that this world will be a better place. That is great. I'm 739-2735. That's my cell number. Okay, we will, we will get that on the screen, and uh, good luck with the event. Real quick, you've met an astronaut before, so I want to ask this question. People always tell me that not only do you have to be outstanding in your field, but you have to be calm under pressure. They do personality tests to make sure you're not going to freak out on the, when the rocket is launching. That's, that's correct. That's kind of a, a calm demeanor. Have you found that to be the case? That is the case, and that's a good principle and a good lesson for all of us. Okay. We must remain calm under the demeanor. My old boss... My old uh, hero, Dr. LaSalle de LaFall, who was our first living legend here and who has been the president of the American College of Surgeons, the most prestigious surgical body in the world, always used the term equanimity under duress. So that's the key by which you can always succeed. Keep your cool. Cool is the rule. The cool will rule. All right, Dr. Ernest. Thank you so much. Thank you very Good much. Good to see you. Good All to right. see you. See you next time. Great. We're going to be right back to wrap things up. Stay with us right here across Louisiana, Acadiana style.